I am the way, the truth and the life. John 14 verse 6. This is our memory verse for this week. What you need to do is try and remember it. And if you can remember it, you could maybe record it and send it to Aunt Margaret. And for anyone in Sunday school who remembers this verse, there'll be a special prize coming your way. I am the way, the truth and the life. John 14 verse 6. Time to get up. Jesus, help me, Jesus. My daughter is dying. Jairus shouted as loud as he could and the crowd parted to let him through. She's only 12, he explained, and she's so ill. But I know I can count on you to make her well. Please. Jesus nodded. Show me the way, he said. But the minute they started wading through the crowd, Jesus stopped. Somebody touch me, he whispered. Jesus, one of his friends whispered back, there are hundreds of people here. I'm sure lots of them touched you. No, said Jesus, raising his voice now. Somebody here was sick, very sick. Then they touched me and God made them well. I felt it. I felt the power rush out of me. Now who was it? It was me, said a woman close by. I have been sick for so long. I've spent so much money on doctors. But when I touched your robe, I was healed. Jesus turned to the woman and smiled. He was so happy for her. You trusted me, he said. That's good. So God has made you well. Jesus said, Jairus. Jesus, I don't mean to interrupt. But before Jairus could say another word, one of his servants called out across the crowd. Master, master, I have the most awful news. Jesus knew it even before the servant spoke. Your daughter is dead. Jesus turned from the happy woman to the sad father. It will be all right, he said. Trust me. Then they hurried off to Jairus' house. When they arrived, there was another crowd wailing and weeping in front of the house. The sad news had spread fast. Listen, everybody, said Jesus. There's no need to cry. The girl is not dead. She's only sleeping. Sad tears gave way to angry laughter. Don't be ridiculous, someone shouted. We've seen her. She's dead. Jesus ignored them all. He asked the girl's mother and father, and three of his friends, Peter, James and John, to come with him. Together they walked straight to where the girl was lying. She certainly looked dead. Her eyes were closed, her face was pale, her skin was cold. But that didn't stop Jesus. He took her cold hand in his and called. Little girl, little girl, it's time to get up. Her skin grew warm. Her face flushed pink and her eyelids flickered and flew open. She was alive and the first thing she said was, I'm hungry. Then we'd better get you something to eat, said Jesus. And it was the best meal that family had ever had. <laughs>